hey there welcome to my channel this is the desk crochets and my name is maureen so today we're going to be making this crochet mesh vest or crochet mesh cover up or crochet mesh top whatever you want to call it and this is how it looks like in the front so it is it's the same at the back and in the front nothing changes and then you're going to be having two straps or oh, yes two straps yes that's it the soda vest or cover up is made up of four parts that's the behind part the front part and then the two straps yes so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do not forget to subscribe and you can also check out other crochet tutorials that i uploaded and yes i'll continue uploading more crochet tutorials so now let's dive into the tutorial this is winter king I'm going to be using Winter King yarn. It's a medium weight yarn in color green. I'm a green, I should say. It's 500 grams and stuff. So you're going to be needing a dunny needle to weave in the ends. You're going to need the stitch markers. And then I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter hook. So to start, we are going to make the front or back part because they are really the same so now we're gonna measure and you can see my work is measuring up to around 12 inches yes but remember it can stretch to accommodate a bigger size so it's from size small medium big yes and so we are first we're gonna make these six rows of no increase no decrease and to do that you're gonna make a slip stitch no you're gonna make a slip knot and after making a slip knot you're going to make a chain so you're going to make a chain of 54 i made a chain of 54 and that's enough for size small medium and then it would be a little bit tight on a size big so yeah just measure from one shoulder to the other shoulder those those are the measurements for every size so now that is going to measure up to around 15 or 14 inches according to how tight or how loose you crochet so after that you're gonna count to the sixth stitch or the sixth chain and you're going to yarn over once yarn over twice go into the sixth chain with a treble crochet chain one yarn over twice go in skip one chain go into the next with a treble crochet so now this is what you're gonna do at the end of the chain chain one yarn over twice go skip one chain and go into the next pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two chain one skip the next so you're going to continue doing this up to the end of the chain So now coming to the end of the chain you're going to repeat the same thing chain one and now go into the last chain with a treble crochet so this is row one and it's just as simple as that now for row two you're going to make a chain of two make a chain of two oh my god make a chain of four sorry about that you're going to make a chain of four yarn over twice go into the next chain one space with a treble crochet chain one go into the next treble crochet with a no go into the next chain one space with a treble crochet so we are going to be starting a treble crochet into each and every chain one space so continue doing that up to the end of the row i'm going to meet at the end of the row here we are now we have like two left so chain one yarn over twice and now we are going to skip that space and just count up to the fourth stitch and now insert your triple crochet into the fourth stitch now we are going to be repeating row two chain four turn your work this is row three repeat row two Go into the first chain one space with a treble crochet and then at the last 
you don't go into that space with anything you simply chain one and go into the and count four stitches the last four stitches and insert your treble crochet into the last into the fourth stitch and if there's anything you don't understand please comment in the section comment in the comment section down below and i'll be glad to get back to you so count four and insert your treble crochet so now you're gonna repeat row two until you come up with six rows and if you want your vest to be longer make up to around eight or nine rows so now repeat this until you have six rows repeat it until you have six rows now after that you can measure it's around 13 inches wide and it's just those inches long three and a half inches long and now you're gonna begin decreasing so the six rows are without any increase or decrease so to do that you're gonna make a chain of four and after that you're gonna turn your work inside a triple crochet into each and every chain one space until we have three triple crochets left or until we have two spaces left so continue to insert a triple crochet into each and every chain one space now as you can see these we have three triple crochets one two and three or two spaces so now we are going to prepare for a triple crochet that's yarn over twice go on top of that triple crochet and pull up a loop go into the next triple crochet pull up a loop and then go into the next triple crochet and pull up a loop after that yarn over pull through three loops and then pull through two loops pull through two loops and then pull through two loops so now this is how we make our decrease it's pretty simple now we are going to repeat this row until we have four rows of decrease so chain one turn your work this is row two go into the first space with that triple crochet i'm gonna do this until i have three triple crochets left or until i have two spaces left and don't forget I'm repeating row 3 until sorry I'm repeating row 7 it's the seventh row until I have four more rows of decrease here we are you're going to prepare for a treble crochet because now we have three treble crochets left after that you're going to go into this space on top of that triple crochet and pull up a loop go on top of the next triple crochet pull up a loop and go on top of the last triple crochet and pull up a loop so now you're going to yarn over you have six loops on your hook yarn over pull through three yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through two so now we're going to repeat row seven or row eight until you have four more rows so we are going to be making four rows of decrease chain four turn repeat row eight because remember we came up with six rows of no decrease or increase then we need four rows of decrease and to do that you're going to be repeating row seven or row eight it's just as simple as that Add in four more rows. So now we are done adding more rows. As you can see, this is what we have. Now what we are going to do is we are going to measure those four rows. How much they measure? It's they measure four inches, and then at this point, it's eleven inches wide so four plus the previous rows yep now what you're gonna do is you're gonna be attaching these like they're like straps i should say so i'm gonna count off five or you could simply measure off two and a half 
inches place your stitch marker go to this side measure two and a half inches and then place your stitch marker now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my hook I'm going to make a chain of four I'm going to continue doing the same thing only that now I'm going to be stopping where I placed the stitch marker for two rows. Now for this first row, repeat the same thing we've been doing. That's treble crochet, chain one, treble crochet in the next space, chain one, treble crochet in the next space, chain one, and now you can treble crochet in this space or on top of the the treble crochet it's really not a big deal so after that this is row one of the strap so now i'm gonna go into the second row and it's made of five spaces so now for the second row i'm gonna repeat the same thing that's chain four you start in the first a treble crochet in the first chain one space And once we are done with placing our second row, now you can chain one, cut your yarn, and then pull up the loop. So I'm going to repeat this onto the other side. Repeat this onto this side. And like that, our part is done. So you're going to make two of these. And after making two of these, you're going to touch them together at the top only. So, yes arrange them or oh, identify your wrong side and after identifying your wrong side arrange your work and now you're going to be attaching the top or the straps together at the top so grab your darning needle and after grabbing your darning needle begin stitching this work together the one at the top stitch it in how you like but i prefer to stitch it in a way that a treble crochet was corresponding with a treble crochet and then a space corresponds with a space so continue to do that up to the end of the chain no up to the end of the strap i should say so continue to stitch your work together and we are almost done And now that you're done, you can fasten off your yarn. I decided to also weave in the ends as I went. Or you could weave in the ends as you go. So, and when you're done with that, just cut your yarn, tie it together. Or just fasten it off anyhow you like. And I'm going to repeat the same thing onto this side. And then I'll be showing you how it looks like. So, yeah, so now I'm done this is the wrong side and now this is the right side so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna be making a strap two straps so to do that just make a chain so make a slip knot grab your hook and after make a chain I made a chain of 97 yes I still remember perfectly so I made a chain of 97 and when I measured I see 31 inches long so you're gonna need two of these just make a slip knot and make a chain of 97 or if you want yours longer please do not hesitate just continue and add on more chains so now you're gonna need two of these and when you're done I'm going to begin inserting this inside and to do this I simply counted off six rows on both sides then I attach my strap because remember we we stopped increasing at six rows and after that you will tie it off i'm going to be showing you how to tie it off but please if you haven't subscribed to my channel do not forget to subscribe for more crochet videos and you can also check out my channel actually for other crochet tutorials that i have recently uploaded and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you regret this please tag me in your creations i would really love to see that so thank you for watching and happy crocheting